This is my review of the A11N Zenith C8. So uh, this paddle, this pickleball paddle, was uh, one that I purchased uh, off of Amazon and uh, wanted to have something to uh, complement the uh, uh, Next Gen Atlas that I already had. And, uh, and so just so I could take somebody else out with me, somebody from my family. And this was uh, affordable. I uh, actually purchased it as a birthday gift to myself. Um, and had watched a few reviews uh, about the A11 and paddles because, I mean, I've heard the warnings about uh, Amazon paddles uh, and, you know, just kind of you, you get what you pay for. Um, so I, w I wanted to be uh, somewhat diligent and uh and had uh, seen some what appeared to be unsolicited reviews um about the c7 and c8 paddles so the uh, c7 paddle is uh, an elongated paddle whereas the c8 is your classic shape um and uh the c8 is uh, about eight uh uh, 8.1 ounces at least that's what mine measures out at now I did put a little bit of metal tape uh, on there uh, to kind of do some customization um, it's a, a 15.75 inch length uh, paddle versus the c7 which is about 16 and a half I think uh, uh, 8 inch uh, paddle width uh, across a 5 point uh two five or five and a quarter inch grip length which is kind of nice uh for somebody who is used to a two-handed backhand like i am from tennis um and the, the grip size is uh 4.33 or four and a third inches um and uh i'll just kind of give you my sense of how this paddle plays i again i really like the swing weight um when i do some wall drills uh, especially when I'm doing uh, alternating volleys, uh, I just find that this paddle moves really quickly. It uh, it's very fluid, uh, and so I don't uh, have to worry about uh, slow reaction time because the paddle is dragging through the air or anything. Uh, one of the things I love about this paddle is it feels like it's all sweet spot, like. I don't know else how else to describe it, um, and there just there doesn't feel like there are any dead zones. I mean, of course you can you can hit it in the very top corner or right at the throat of the paddle, but uh, but honestly, if you've got anywhere in this kind of the symbol area, you're you're gonna get a really solid feel. Um, uh, I I have not yet got enough experience under my belt. Um, having only been playing about a month now and uh, one tournament uh, to say, you know, does it have incredible pop? I think it has great pop. I think it has sufficient power. The uh, um, uh, the grippiness of the uh, the carbon fiber face uh, is uh, is terrific. It is a thermal formed uh, paddle, so that just uh, means that um, there is a, a, a solid edge. Uh, that uh, kind of runs the perimeter of the paddle and that I think enhances the sweet spot, the size of the sweet spot, kind of gives it uh, some additional rigidity and probably, you know, some extra pop or, uh, coming off of the, uh, the paddle face. Um, uh, it was uh, really affordable. Uh, I paid just about a hundred bucks Canadian for it. Um, and I, I, my wife uses this paddle, my daughters use this paddle. Uh, I have, uh, but not in not in a regular gameplay. Uh, I'm trying to get uh, really familiar with my uh, my other paddle, but um, but honestly, I, I have taken this out to to run drills, as I've said, and I'm really quite happy with it. So uh, you know, I I would be curious uh, what the difference in the feel would be with the C8, uh, the C7, uh, the elongated version of this paddle. Um, and uh, would love to compare that sometime. Um, but for now, I, will, I happily endorse uh, or recommend the uh, Xena C8 if you are looking for a really affordable, high quality uh, paddle. And um, as again, for somebody like me who is uh, a real newbie uh, to the game, it has served me and 
my family so far uh, really well. So uh, uh, check out A11N and, uh, and kind of be on the watch for uh, new products coming uh, out of their uh, uh, lines. And uh, yeah, hope to be back with some more pickleball paddle reviews.